Patients who are treated for NTM lung disease frequently experience medication-related side effects. These are due to the toxicity profile of each drug and the long durations of therapy that are used to treat NTM. It is important for clinicians to warn patients about both common and less frequent but potentially serious side effects that can be caused by each drug in their regimen. Examples of such side effects are, Athambutol can commonly cause GI upset, nausea, vomiting, and liver function test or LFT abnormalities. Rarely, athambutol can cause optic neuritis and peripheral neuropathy. Azithromycin can cause GI upset, such as abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, loose stools, dyskusia, and LFT abnormalities, as well as hearing loss, imbalance issues, and rash. Rifampin can cause a reddish discoloration of body fluids, GI upset, flu-like illness, and LFT abnormalities. Rarely, rifampin can cause cytopenias and liver or kidney failure. Amicacin liposome inhalation suspension, or ALIS, can commonly cause dysphonia, increased cough and sputum production, and increased dyspnea. Rarely, it can cause a hypersensitivity pneumonitis, hearing loss, or vestibular dysfunction. As many of the antibiotics used to treat NTM lung disease can cause similar side effects, it can be difficult to determine the culprit antibiotic in a multi-drug regimen. For example, multiple antibiotics used to treat NTM can cause GI upset or abnormalities in liver testing values. If it is not apparent which antibiotic is causing serious adverse events, it may be necessary to discontinue the entire multi-drug regimen and add back antibiotics in a stepwise fashion. Mitigating side effects can be achieved by reducing drug frequency from a daily regimen to a three times a week regimen. This can often improve tolerability. In the case of ALIS, side effects can often be mitigated by cessation of the drug, a drug holiday, and resuming a reduced frequency of three times a week instead of daily.